Lord have mercy. There's a lot of crazy shit going on, bro. It says, uh, shocking video shows a heroin situation when a man took hostages at Knife Point at a Victoria's Secret store in Miami Beach on Thursday. The nail-biting standoff ended with police fatally shooting the perp. An escaped convict from New Hampshire took hostages at a Victoria's Secret store in Miami Beach, Florida. What? Well, it didn't. He didn't want to stay out of trouble, did he? Darren Young, 29, escaped from the minimum security. How you say that? Calumet House Transitional Housing Unit near Concord, New Hampshire, on July 21st, according to the New Hampshire Department of Corrections. Young had been suspected of shoplifting at the lingerie store on Lincoln Road. Around 5.30 Thursday, Young took a mother and a daughter hostage at Knife Point at a Victoria's Secret store. Officers with the Miami Beach Police Department responded to the hostage situation. Young is seen on gripping video behind the store's checkout counter during the standoff clutching the neck of one of the hostages. The daughter is seen with her hands folded, seemingly in prayer. A witness told WPLG that Young repeatedly shouted, I'm going to kill her, I'm going to kill her, don't make me hurt her, don't make me hurt her. Police officers heard telling the escaped convict, put it down, man, please put it down. Police shot the hostage, take her who was then transported to Jackson Memorial Hospital in Miami. Young was in critical condition at the hospital's trauma unit, but reportedly died several hours later. Miami Beach Police Department said in a statement, the two victims are safe and speaking with detectives. <coughs> None of the witnesses, police, or Victoria's Secret employees were harmed during the hostage situation of shooting. Miami Beach Police Department said the fatal officer involved shooting will be investigated by Florida Department of Law Enforcement. In New Hampshire, Young had been in prison for receiving stolen property, burglary, falsifying physical evidence, and drug charges. Officials from the New Hampshire Department of Corrections say Young was eligible for parole on July 31st with a maximum release date of January 31st, 2028. Authorities said it was unclear why Young made the 1,500-mile journey to, from Concord to Miami. Damn. I just don't know.